We humans are cursed with rather simplistic eyes, capable of seeing far too little of what the cosmos has to offer. Thankfully though, certain technological advances enable us to see that which we might have never been able to cast our eyes upon before. Telescopes allow us to see into the past by looking into the depths of outer space, while microscopes can give us extreme close-ups. But there are some creatures and critters that, when seen too close up, reveal themselves to be far creepier looking than you might have expected. These are things you don't want to see under a microscope. We're still gonna show them to you though. Number 15. An eye. We often hear that our eyes are the windows to our souls, but windows are as transparent as they come. They have no details, no complex intricacies, and they're mostly self-explanatory. Photographer and American physics teacher Seren Monvalayan proves with a series of photographs that eyes are far more complex than we're led to believe. Seren holds an interest in creative photo projects, macro, portraits, landscape, and more. He started taking photos when he was a teenager and turned professional in 2006. While his works are well known, it's his eye photography that really puts him in the spotlight. His project, titled Your Beautiful Eyes, is the most viewed project on the platform known as Behance, with close to 3 million views and over 70,000 likes. Surin said that he wasn't aware of how complicated the human eye was until he started photographing it for himself. His pictures show stroma or pigmented fibrovascular tissue and the structure of cells connected to muscles. These muscles dictate the aperture or size of the pupil. While eyes and irises can look smooth on the surface, they look more like an alien planet with unique shapes and structures, colors, and features close up. Surin's eye photography astounds all those who view it with their own, well, eyes. But he won't divulge exactly how he takes the photos. Before we go on, we have a cool challenge for y'all it will take about 5 seconds to complete. Uh, let's make a deal. Just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification notification bell and you will get 10 years of amazing luck and fortune. Try it, it actually works. Now it's time for the odd topic. Not to body shame, but while Margot Robbie and Idris Elba may both look good with an extreme close-up, the Queen Ant most certainly does not. Once you get these tiny little critters under the microscope, you get a real good look at how devilish they truly are. The sharp protrusions, the gaping red mouth, the almost evil grin. They look like they've sauntered straight out of a Stephen King novel and into reality. No wonder ants work so hard when this is their boss. I'd be scared to disappoint her too. Comment down below with the hashtag odd topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 14. Tomato and Tomato Leaf Who would have thought that a simple tomato and its leaf would be something that would make you recoil in horror? Tomatoes are a fabulous vegetable, well, fruit. They go beautifully in a salad, on their own, fresh, cooked, made into a soup, pasta, pizza, the list goes on. There's almost nothing you can't do with a tomato. But believe it or not, it used to be a feared vegetable. People thought it was poisonous and shouldn't be eaten. During the 1700s, European aristocrats were finding themselves struck down with illnesses or even passing away after eating tomatoes. As a result, they were called poisonous apples and people shied away from touching them. But as it turns out, it wasn't the tomato that was poisonous, but the pewter plates from which people were eating them. This highly acidic fruit vegetable would react with the metals, leaching them into the tomato and causing lead poisoning. Fortunately, they worked this out before long, which is why we get to enjoy this delicious meal ingredient today. But while they are delicious, they are terrifying to look at under a microscope. Tomatoes look like they have long feelers, craters, and strange growths. They look smooth and delicious on the outside, but that skin has some horrifying and monstrous looking components. We're lucky enough not to see those when we tuck into all manner of tomato varieties, with unique names such as Cream Sausage, Mr. O, Ugly and baby cakes. Number 13. Tube worms. We like to think we've explored most of the Earth. After all, we have all this technology at our fingertips. 
but there's still much of the world we know very little about, and a fair portion of that is the ocean. There are many creatures within it that we are yet to discover. We probably sometimes wish the tube worm was one we didn't discover, especially if you're one of the unfortunate people to view it under a microscope. If this creature doesn't make you recoil in horror, then nothing will. The tube worm is a deep sea critter that lives at the bottom of the ocean. It has a long, narrow tube that it attaches to the sea floor and a plume it uses to extract nutrients from the water. It adapts to icy cold temperatures, no sunlight, and pressure that would likely crush any person who attempted to dive down to that level. Instead, they thrive in such environments. Tube worms mostly live around the edges of hydrothermal vents. These vents emit toxic, chemical-laden water that's heated to extreme temperatures. These go by the name of black smokers. The way they survive is quite unique, even by gross sea creature standards. When bacteria enters their mouths, their gut and mouth seal shut. The bacteria then survive on oxygen and sulfur, which they turn into organic molecules. The worms use these to survive. With such a unique way of life, it's possibly of no surprise that these sea creatures are as ugly as they come. But if you think they're ugly on the surface, then imagine them under a microscope. They look like flabby, wrinkly worms from another planet, and they're not something you'd volunteer to view at any level of magnification. Number 12. An Ant's Face If there's one thing that everyone knows about ants, of which there are 12,000 species, it's that they're small. Even the bullet ant, which has a sting that can make you feel like you've been shot, is not of mammoth sizing. But under a microscope, a small and seemingly innocent looking creature becomes something of which nightmares are made. Look at one under a microscope for yourself and you'll see exactly what we mean. The simple looking black head all of a sudden becomes far more detailed than it needs to be. It has fierce looking teeth, hairs, wide and staring eyes, and evil looking antenna. They go from innocent to pure monster with a slight magnification change. If you don't think you'll be getting much sleep tonight after seeing an ant up close and personal, then enjoy a few fun facts about them. Ants operate similarly to how mankind used to and sometimes still does. They live in colonies, have worker ants, queens, and males, and live kind of a family life. The male ants and queens have wings, but the workers don't. The queen's primary purpose in life is to make babies, and the male worker ants help with that. Once they mate with the queen, they often don't live for much longer. The queen, on the other hand, can live for several years and produce millions of offspring. If a colony of ants takes over another, they collect all the eggs and hatch them in in their own colony. Those stolen eggs then become the slaves, caring for the original colony's babies. It's also interesting to note that ants don't have ears. They have plenty of other disturbing features under a microscope, but they're missing these basic ones. Instead, they feel vibrations through their feet. The next time an ant interrupts your picnic, think not about only how awful they look magnified, but how they're probably working hard to provide for their colony. That might stop you from squishing them. Number 11. Strawberries Everyone has their favorite fruit. It's the thing you'll eagerly pack in your lunchbox and will never go past in the supermarket without grabbing. Some people like apples and bananas, but a significant number prefer strawberries over any other. In fact, as many as 53% of children between the age of 7 and 9 say they are their favorite fruit. But not for much longer. Have you seen them under a microscope? It's like a horror movie in fruit form. On the surface, strawberries are small, oddly shaped berries with a green leafy component on the top and small seeds dotted over the red, fleshy exterior. Sometimes they have patches of green where they're not quite ripe. Up close, however, they look a little bit hairy and the seeds are wrinkled, terrifying to look at, and huge. Strawberries are the only fruit to have seeds on the outside, and we're now glad not anymore do. After seeing a strawberry magnified, you may not be in a hurry to pick up a punnet on your next grocery store visit, but it is still worth doing so. They are packed full of folate, antioxidants, and flavonoids. They are also low in calories and are naturally low in sugar. What's more, they have around 160% of your daily vitamin C requirements, which is far more than an orange. Try not to think about what really sits on the skin of your favorite fruit before you bite into it. Number 10. 
Dental Plaque. It's probably of no surprise to anyone that dental plaque looks gnarly under a microscope. After all, you don't want it, you don't need it, it's damaging, and dentists frown upon it. If you're in the dental chair with plaque, no one's gonna be all too happy about it. While dental plaque looks pretty gross on the surface, it's even worse under a microscope. It almost looks like a damaged and dirty coral reef with sticky, tacky particles clinging on for dear life. Nothing will send you rushing to the bathroom to brush those pearly whites like the sight of plaque on full camera zoom. Plaque is a clear type of film that forms between your teeth, below the gum line, and on your teeth. It mostly presents itself within 12 hours of eating, which is why your parents would always nag you to brush morning and night. If you don't remove that nasty plaque, it hardens and turns into tartar. It can then cause tooth decay when it eats through the enamel on your teeth. In the meantime, it reddens your gums, causes discoloration, and even leaves a foul-smelling odor that even a peppermint can't fix. If you don't want to see dental plaque under a microscope or on your teeth, then don't forget to brush twice daily. Number 9. Human Skin Pore you can avoid looking at gross things in a microscope, but you can't avoid having them. Especially if that gross thing is your own skin. On the surface, our skin looks normal. We see it every day on ourselves and other people. If you look close enough, you can see small dots where hair follicles protrude. But it doesn't make us say, ew. Examining it under a microscope might. At close range, these skin pores look like roughened, uneven surfaces with large, gaping holes. They are by no means as smooth as they look on your body. But even if you want to get rid of your unsightly pores, you need them. Our pores serve an essential purpose. Your oil glands work in harmony with them to allow your skin to feel soft, supple, and healthy. Sweat pores, on the other hand, enable your sweat glands to cool down your skin with refreshing moisture. But like most things, they don't always work at 100% all the time. Human skin pores can become blocked with dead skin, oil, cells, and other nasties. When this happens, we get pimples, breakouts, blackheads, and acne. Such an occurrence can see a need to use a form of treatment, which differs for everyone, to clean out and open those pores so that they function normally. Number 8. Tardigrades. Water bears. At full size, a tardigrade, also cutely known as a water bear or moss piglet, is only around 0.002 to 0.05 inches long. So even to view them in the standard detailing, you'll need some kind of magnifying tool. But zoom in a little further and you'll get to see all those nitty gritty details that turn this once cute critter into a full on nightmare. That water bear becomes a water monster. Tardigrades are called phylum, and they are a near indestructible caterpillar-like creature that lives almost anywhere with moisture. Most often, they are found on moss or the bottom of lakes in sediment. Aside from their horrifying looks under a microscope, there are plenty of other interesting things to know about tardigrades. One such thing is that they can survive almost anything. Put them in temperatures as low as negative 328 degrees Fahrenheit and they'll live. Ramp up the heat to 300 degrees Fahrenheit and, yep, you guessed it, as alive as ever. Radiation, extreme pressure, boiling liquids, supernova blasts, gamma ray bursts, asteroids, the destruction of humanity and everything on Earth? No problem, tardigrades will take it all in their stride. They go into a state known as cryptobiosis, which is near death, but not quite. They will dehydrate themselves, retract their eight legs in strange head, then rejuvenate themselves when they come across water. They're basically those sea monkeys you buy from toy stores. So while these creatures are awful to look at under a microscope, you can't help but be intrigued and want to look a little closer. Number 7. Human Eyelashes We see our eyelashes every time we look in the mirror. We may even catch a glimpse of them when we half close our eyes or see a reflection in our spectacles. But what you don't see every day is them really up close. And that's probably a good thing, because they're pretty gross. But you don't have to take my word for it. Pluck a single lash out of your lid and check it out at 16x magnification. You'll not only see the eyelash, but a family of mites living on it. Before you start trying to scrub them clean or rip them all out, know that these mites are in entirely normal. Everyone has them and some people have more than others. Like you. You've got plenty. 
The mites feed on the oils, sebum, and mucus that come from your facial pores. Those who tend to have irritated or inflamed eyes could have more mites than others. But that simply means you need to address the cause of the problem rather than focus on the mites' existence. The mites, which are called Demodex folliculorum, or brevis, live on your face and are passed from human to human. Yes, they are bugs, but no, they're not something you need to be concerned about. The more frightening thing is knowing that while your eyelashes look normal in the mirror, they're playing host to a family of critters. Number 6. Head Lice we're pretty sure you don't need to see head lice under a microscope to know they're gross, but we're gonna describe them for you anyway. They have bulbous bodies, spiky little hairs, and their legs look gnarly and weird. So if it wasn't enough they had to pick them one by one out of your child's hair, now you get to imagine them looking far more awful than they do now. You're welcome. Head lice are gross, but entirely common. Doesn't matter whether your hair is clean or dirty or you're from affluence or poverty, they affect everyone. Most commonly, they are rife in children's learning centers such as schools and preschools. Close head contact is the primary way they spread. Head lice are nasty and a bit of a nuisance, but they don't cause diseases or serious illness. They just take a lot of time to remove with treatment and a head lice comb. They're about the size of a sesame seed and develop in three stages. Their 28-day life cycle consists of an egg, also called a nit, a nymph, and then an adult louse. They can't hop, fly, or jump, and they don't generally spread through the sharing of hats or combs. Again, pretty much just close head-to-head -head contact. They feed on blood from your scalp and are often pale gray in color. The most common way people know they or a loved one has nits is by the itchiness, but by this stage, they have well and truly taken hold. That itching can then continue long after they're gone. Number 5. Strep Infection if you're feeling under the weather and have been diagnosed with a strep infection, then it pays to stay away from microscopes. If you were to view a strep infection magnified, it would do little to make you feel better. Infected bacteria cause a strep infection from group A streptococcus. It can affect anyone, but is more common in school-aged children. It's contagious, but children on antibiotics can return to school within a day of starting treatment, as long as their temperature is below 101 degrees Fahrenheit. The bacteria look awful enough under a microscope, but it can also make you feel awful too. A strep infection causes a sore throat, bad breath, fever, swollen glands, painful swallowing, nausea, abdominal pain, and vomiting. Without treatment, it can lead to tonsil abscesses, sinus infections, ear infections, and even rheumatic fever, which affects your heart and joints. Treatment within one to two days can stop the spread of the disease and have you on the mend. You then don't have to think about those awful microscopic bacteria any longer. Number four, mosquitoes. A mosquito under a microscope looks like a monster from a horror movie. I think alien, but a little hairier and a bit grosser. Mosquitoes are also not only awful to look at, but to encounter as well. When the female mosquito bites you, your immune system reacts and causes an itchy bump. Many of these over a day can create one big itch fest over the next few days or so. Mosquitoes tend to hang around bodies of water and are attracted to lactic acid, octanol, and carbon dioxide in our breath and sweat. For some reason, they tend to prefer beer drinkers to anyone else. The next time one lands on you, you'll not only be thinking about the itchiness and discomfort to follow, but how under a microscope, they look as monstrous as they are. Number three, dust mites. If you thought everyday insects were annoying and disturbing, then a bit of information about the dust mite will have you comparing spiders to puppies. Dust mites under a microscope look as terrible as you would expect. Up close, they have warped, gnarled legs, bulbous faces, and fat bodies. Probably from all those dead skin cells they eat. Dead mites are everywhere. From your pillows to your bed sheets and everywhere in between. They feed on your dead skin and leave waste in your bed. Who would have known? In just half a teaspoon of dust, there are around 1,000 dust mites. But that's not the worst part. There are also around 240,000 dust mite fecal particles. Sleep well. Number two, maggots. 
The sight of maggots can send shivers up your spine. You're likely to spot them on rotten food, animal carcasses, and other remains left behind. Surprisingly, they're more intriguing than gross under a microscope. Some people even think they look like tiny seals, even if they're not something you want to see or touch. Believe it or not, as you as maggots are, they are quite beneficial. They break down dead things that would otherwise linger, and they also can heal wounds. They even help in the criminal world to establish times of death with their various life stages. Maggots, believe it or not, are even common bait types for European fishing industry businesses. So while they might not be the animal you'd welcome into your home or even enjoy seeing under a microscope, there's no denying they are a much needed life form we don't want to get rid of entirely. Number 1. Squid Suckers How fond are you of sleep? Don't mind if it's interrupted by terrifying visions of microscopic tentacles? Good. Take a look at squid suckers under a microscope. Awful is an understatement for how these things look zoomed in. They're like tubes with dangerous little teeth and are by no means pleasant to look at. But believe it or not, scientists can't stop looking at them. Those teeth are made of a unique protein called suckerin. They are strong, but they melt when they are heated. They are also reusable and moldable, making them as desirable and similar to PVC plastic as you can get. There's hope in the research world that these terrifying teeth can be used for reconstructive surgery and eco-friendly packaging in the future. We're curious as to what you've seen under a microscope that terrified, intrigued, or disgusted you. Have you seen any of the above? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!